Yo, we good. Welcome to yet another episode of the Proverbs of Profit with myself, Uma Kumete, where we speak all things money, business, and financial literacy. Today, we're going to be speaking to a tattoo artist, the founder and owner of it, e Peter's Tattoo Studio. Who was as understand the business lamp for it, as I'm as an So, Putuami Unjan. You radio and Nasiswam Unjan. So, please introduce yourself and what you do to the people. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm, actually, I'm Peter Nglovu, mm-hmm. the amateur to like Oliver, mm-hmm. SN Children Oliver and Bush. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, when did you start your journey as an entrepreneur? Um, I think I've launched uh, twins. 17 to yeah, 2017 around September, somewhere yeah. there. Yes, yeah. Well, what inspired you? Because venturing into businesses is, is difficult, it's very tough. What inspired you to walk into entrepreneurship? Um, I think, like, uh, like sometimes, um, see, Vela si motivate you and get poverty, you understand that. Yeah, of course, they've been struggling to lose and the reason is fine. So, you understand that. So, by then, I was actually working with my friend, although I and he, he does carpentry, you are born, I'm a kitchen cupboard and stuff. Yeah. But I was not actually skilled in the industry, so yeah, um, I was actually helping, you understand that. Yeah, yeah. So, what inspired why specifically am I tattoo? Like, what inspired you to venture into this particular industry? Okay. Um, of course, when I remember, I had a friend which was who was like uh, living in Devton, yeah. you know. So the guy he once uh, obtained a tattoo, uh, a jaws, you understand? Right? So yeah. actually, tattoo a jaws. The tattoo was like unprofessionally, yeah. and then he like he gave me a call. What like my friend? Of course, you were doing. You were saying like you were doing tattoos in prison. You understand? Because I once briefed him earlier. Oh, good morning. I used to do like tattoos in prison, but I had no professional equipment. Yeah. So he had to come in Olive and Audi Bush, and then government the tattoo of a hip. And then we're walking around Olive and Audi Bush, meeting people in the streets. Like, like they were saying, like, how much is this? I was like, 700. I was just like guessing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So people, they were so interested. Then that's why I decided to leave the carpentry side, mm. since I was not skilled in a carpentry um, uh, industry. Yeah. And then I came to tattoos. And then I like I I, I, I proceed with um, the industry a tattoo. When did you acquire the skill to actually do a tattoo? Because it, I'm sure it, it requires a skill so that you do perfect okay, work. Okay, okay, okay. Like Ekwalen, I can't say I was good to understand that. Mm. So of course, like I had the potential, you know, mm. in the industry. Since like I've danced few tattoos behind a bar, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So I used to go on YouTube checking amateur tattoos, like amateur tattoo artists, and understand the Yeah. So, Kutwami, how did you start your business in terms of getting the equipment, finding a space where you can work? I'm sure that's tough. So, when I personally, how did you start your business? Um. Um. Like I think I was just working with what I had, you know. Mm. So um, since I mentioned earlier about like I, I I made my own tattoo mm. equipment, like a homemade tattoo machine. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then and I had to bend like some tires stuff like to make ink, like try to create ink, you know? Yeah. And then I think I've used it that for approximately six to seven months. Yeah. You know? Until I managed to raise the money to buy like a proper tattoo okay. equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it costly? Like, is it is this a cash intensive business? Does it need? Does it require too much capital? Ah uh, no. Uh, the issue there is like qualities. So it depends uh, yeah. on when I afford the tattoo equipment. I'm when I remember that time I bought my tattoo mm. kitty by one point five. So it comes with the ingi, needle, and transfer papers and the etc. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I can't say like it's a, it's a, it's a, like it's a highly quality stuff or first class. Yeah. Uh, just for a good class, we say that. Ah, no. yeah. 
in terms of in, her, in terms of finding a space because it's pizza tattoo studio in terms of finding a state space how how did that go especially in the beginning were you going to customers personally or did you find a place and then about how did that okay. how okay. does that work um i was actually working from home yeah i was actually working from my room where i used to stay and i was also on mobile mm -hmm. yeah i'm a house call yeah so that kind of thing so i think i was working from home for almost a year and then after a year i had to look for a shop and then a gnl and out bush nearby police station mm. and then i used that shop for i think from 2017 18 no from 2018 2019 yeah end of 2019 I came this side, mm -hmm. yes, to Arbs Extension um, 36, yeah. and then like, I was looking for a space, and then uh, I to this place, like, yeah. and then, um, yeah. In terms of, in terms of the actual business, and the day to, the day to day, do you have employees, or it's, it's personally you doing the tattoos, and, and if you do have employees, how do you manage that, and if it's you alone, how are you running your business? Um, I can say I'm a runner, I'm a owner, yeah. and yeah, everything. You know, I want to cause like a business, a business uh, doesn't doesn't have too much. I do too much labor. Yeah. You know, what you need to do is just to work by appointment, mm -hmm. and it should be so. Should, should be like a hard worker. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. the skirt and arrangements. Yeah. 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 So in terms of I'm a customer because again, we when we are Sabenza essentially. How how are you how are you getting these customers? Mina, um, I am a marketer mm -hmm. on my social platforms such as like Facebook, Instagram, and I also have a, a, a website. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, cool Facebook, I'm Peter, I'm Peter Glovo, yeah. my personal account, and then my page is Peter Tattoo Studio, yeah. and then um, cool website is www Peter's Tattoo Studio. Uh, dot cause up and yeah. then Instagram um Peter Tattoo Studio underscore uh, Peter Tattoo underscore Studio yeah 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 so in terms of because I I I'm going to this industry am I in the same way I'm going to familiar now in terms of I'm a tattoo how do you decide on a pricing because like when it's a business I mean it has to be able to sustain you but also and and we say look Sheen how do you how do you decide on a pricing it's okay you say look Sheen where people don't necessarily aren't willing to pay comfortably we are both how do you decide on a pricing as okay uh good tattoo industry we doesn't have like a fixed price yeah yeah you charge regards with the quality of your work mm. yeah, well, yeah so tattoo doesn't have a, free, a fixed price like a sugar when you get where you're gonna sell like it's 14 rand everywhere you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. so quality of your work and also in location it would be also counts mm -hmm. yeah 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 so in terms of e in e reputation how are you sustaining that because it's a two pillar you essentially so in terms of reputation how do you like ensure what your tattoos are constantly at a high level plus people understand which you an amazing tattoo artist Okay, let me usually determine when I'm a reviews. Since we're going to website in ETC, so I'm a reviews, I understand, and then also a word of mouth. If like you've done a tattoo here, meet somebody in the streets or at the shops or clubs, and then if they love my work, my work must talk. So yeah. pictures like as marketer or you don't need to discover about Peter is amazing or whatever. But it's a Benz one of those Yeah. yeah. So in order to be an owner of, of a tattoo studio, do you have to have some form of certificate normal you rely on on skill? Um we are depend because sometimes you might be talented or skilled. Mm -hmm. So I mean I, I can't say like I'm talented because somebody trained me. So yeah. I'm skilled, I'm not talented. I understand yeah, 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 that because you're talented alone, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. So um um can you hear what I was saying? Uh 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 skill and such. Yeah, yeah, skill and ETC, yeah. I can say that, yeah.
Yeah, so in terms of, because I'm sure there are other tattoo artists now that are mm. using social media, how do you make sure what to wear now you stand out as, like, well, against your like competitors? Okay, um, the thing would like, whenever you do your things, you need to do like your best work ever, you know what I mean? Mm. And then, and as I mentioned earlier, I would say, I'm a reviews, I understand. So when mm -hmm. people went, got your, visit your page, See so like I'm a reviews and if they are happy about your so one I'm a mm -hmm. comments around then that's how you get like I'm a customers and then you should also like Ube 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 I'm a cause that sometimes find out each other too artist team can be aware that because like we deal with the different skin tones so mm -hmm. sometimes in the tattoo I'm a comic actor and then we find out like he he client if you use as a lumis or like you need to pay so I mean uh, at such events, I'll be like, come and fix, I'll fix my work. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Yes. And I was going to ask about that. So, have yeah. you ever made a job, which I actually don't like this? How yeah. do you... Yes, when there are sometimes, because as I said, um, and that corner sometimes, we have like ama instructions after doing a tattoo. Mm -hmm. You understand them? You yeah. find out you tell a client we don't buy this tattoo for full seven days, mm -hmm. and then I a call I guess mm -hmm. if I if I if I you understand you have done your work proper, mm -hmm. but the client failed to comply regards with the um, instructions, yeah. the rules. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then to such events, some people there will be some tattoo artists they will be like you need to pay again, Mara mm -hmm. in order to gain more clients, and I'll be like just come, I'll fix my work, yeah, fix especially if you like I have time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you you told me your journey off camera, ne? Yes. How did you venture? In Latin, how did you train your mind and e even see the possibility of venturing into business from being incarcerated to a a, a legit business owner? And tell me that journey. Can you just elaborate on that journey? Yes. Um. I think I failed to answer something earlier. Yeah, regards with the industry, you can go to academy, there is tattoo academy, especially in Pretoria. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you can go to tattoo academy, and then I think there you can buy your own kit and then have train on it for seven days, and then there is online train academy again. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, like honestly, I never attend an academy. So we still feel no more. No more. We are fine. Yeah, we are fine. You can still make money. Yes, but in the industry again, we have like some certain challenges. Find out like somebody will be like do my face, you know, and I'm a portrait, you know. Yeah. And maybe like we we talented, you understand that? Yeah. So there is some certain tattoos with the languines, you know. If you like, when I have the gizofaila, I can just um, uh, 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 like. Do you recommend any tattoo artist in Kambe or I can just pass the client to other tattoo artists I'm seeing understand that because mm. I don't want to destroy my reputation while I want to destroy a reputation you can destroy your, rep your reputation in the two minutes while you took about six yeah. years to build the that you yeah, know so sense. if like I'm not good with something I'll be honest with my clients like I can't yeah yeah Make, it makes sense I don't want, I don't want to destroy my business of course uh, something small. Yeah. yeah. Because I run a light, I've always wondered, would see how do tattoo artists do it? You're tattooing a person. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure would I'd be comfortable when, when I don't know whether you're qualified or not. Okay. So that, that answers my question. Okay. So how did you venture into entrepreneurship? It works still because for me, personally, your journey is very inspiring. Okay. So you, you literally came out of prison and still had like the mindset to start a business speak on that how how did you even channel that let's just be the bravery to come from a background into being an entrepreneur okay um i think um like here in south africa since i was like seven my sentence here in south africa yeah. it's a department of correctional service so when you are there you're actually correcting your mistakes yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. so of course, um, I, 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 um, 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 I once committed a crime where I was working previously, mm -hmm. and then so I was regretting, and then like said so like when I go outside, I have to make sure that I change my life, 
mm. and I visited myself, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. with, um, introspection, and then I was, I was like, I will never do this again. Mm. I have to go outside and change my life. I have to work mm. on this. Uh, but I had no any specific skill or or project or you know what I mean. Yeah. So until I found myself that like now I'm doing tattoos, which I've launched it behind a bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. But in terms of yeah, this particular industry, I'm not too familiar with it. Is this a profitable industry? Yes, yes. Um, but um, regards with the money, mm. it's not all about how much you make. It's all about how much you keep. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. In terms of yeah, when uh, you are an entrepreneur, Pelamanji, you don't have a safety of umsevens or the safety nets of having a, a job that will sustain you. Ne? How are you managing your finances as a young entrepreneur? Um, eventually, um, since I'm doing this, I know which sometimes it might happen with Angsatula my clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the plan is to being in the property um, industry, property mm. business, mm. so like building apartments and selling them, building, or either can just be a dealership buying cars and sell them, yeah. buy cars, yeah. So you're expanding your portfolio. Yes, yeah. So I'm working like saving money, try to save money and etc. Mm. And then maybe after a few years, if like maybe I qualify for the huge loan or mm. like you know what I mean, regards with my bank statement. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? If I doesn't qualify, I can still work with what I have. Yeah. I can yeah, a particular like a property. Yeah. 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 It makes sense. Yeah. So Wule industry for me now personally, we have a financial literacy show, ne? I have people that I look up to in the space. When I personally, who's that person? Oh, to move again. It's like okay, one day, even if I'm not fine and I'm bad, if I'm not a career, I should pant. If I'm in an, who's that person? Who do who do you look up to in this particular industry or even business in general? Um, in our industry, I have like so many tattoo artists who look like they're so good and they're doing well. We have Nala in Hatfield. Mm -hmm. It's very good here. She has like a proper shop. Yeah. And um, most of his clients are Amasele. Mm -hmm. We have Moy Inc. in town, Pretoria CBD. Mm -hmm. is also good. And I think several people. And mm -hmm. when I look at Moy Inc., he's older than me. And he's been in the industry before the Nandivaku industry. Yeah. So he had actually a huge skill and experience yeah. than me. So I sometimes actually visit them, asking like some certain things, cause we actually learn every day. Yeah. yeah. It makes a lot yeah. of sense because you can never stop learning. Exactly. Yeah. So I appreciate your time because it's cutting. Yeah. But I want to understand as we close off the inter the interview, Wuti. What is the future plan for your business? What do you What do you Where do you foresee this going? Um, I mean, uh, my plan, mm -hmm. my plan, um, maybe after two to three years, I need to find a tattoo academy. Mm -hmm. I want to train people to do tattoos, you yeah. know, like some upcoming artists, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, and if you span, um, as a business party, in a potential I need to help people, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, so when you are no longer available, they can also continue with the thing. Yeah, it yeah. makes a lot of sense. And that should, it should be also a business, you yeah, understand? At the same should, time, yeah. yeah. At the same time, yeah. yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So thank you very much for your time, ne? So as we close the interview off, give us a word of wisdom, because there might be somebody also who I learned, that's okay. I want to venture into this particular industry. I mean, I'm personally not familiar with the industry, but there might be a person on like, Bugatti as in, I want to go into this industry. No, like a word of wisdom. Okay. Um, now, all I can say in this industry, hmm. you need to be professional because most of the time we deal with our clients and our CC. You know, hmm. I can say 90% of our clients are women. You yeah. know what I mean? So, and most of the time, it's beautiful people. You know yeah. what I mean? And they need their tattoos, like on private, sports and etc. So you need to yeah. be like professional because you're going to end up doing them for free. Or you know what I mean? Mm. So you need mm. to have like a self-discipline. You need to be like more professional. You know what I mean? Because yeah, you can work every day, but find out 
you don't have anything, you don't have any money, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. They'll come and smile at your face and then like jal and jal. So yeah. and as I as I mentioned earlier, I would it's not all about how much you make, it's all about how much you keep. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. I do thank appreciate you, yeah. thank you. Hopefully so much. we will be have like we'll have some time with this time but some other time to see your other spots because we've only seen this one yes, and yeah. the the, mm. the type of entrepreneur you are it's very inspiring even your even your background story yeah, yeah. so we'll ve- we might literally need we make we literally need to do a part two yeah some some sometime yeah. though we'll, we'll talk ne? Yeah. um like subscribe comment and hit the post notification bell this was a fire interview as always so no bye it's a bene next week thank you bye yeah. oh, no okay okay where did you acquire this